Hi everyone, this is the second of our um, problems. Um, we have the mean distance from Mars to the Sun is uh, 142 miles. So um, I wrote out here some of the vocab you need to know. The mean dif difference uh, or the mean distance is the distance uh, from the center to the end of the major axis. Uh, the aphelion is the um, longest distance or the distance that's um, where the planet is the greatest distance from the sun and the perihelion is the shortest distance to the sun from the planet um, and so those are the three major words you'd use in astronomy so basically all we have to do is we have all this information this is 142 million and um, the P, the perihelion, is 128.5 million. And what we're going to do is subtract or multiply this by 2 and subtract to get my A, the longest distance, the aphelion. So I'm going to take um, the mean distance, which is 142 million miles. So basically, A, let's just know that A already is 142 million. All right, so now to the, the length of the major axis is just 2 times that. So 2A is just going to be um, 20, 284 million. Then we want to find our aphelion, so our A it's just going to be your 284 million, just know it's million, minus um, your 128, this part right here, 128.5 million, and that's going to give you 155.5 million miles. These are in miles. Okay, so this is million. All right? And the distance from the center of the ellipse to the focus. So we want this distance here to the focus. So the sun to the focus. So basically I'm going to take um, 142 million, this number, and subtract my P, which is um, the P is what is our P? Our P is 128, so minus 128. So P is 128.5 million. So subtract that 128.5 million, and your that your um, distance to the focus therefore is going to be 13.5 million. All right. So that's our C. So we had to do all this work just to get to C. A was given to us, and now to set up the equation, we have to find, um, and we also had to find A, which we did. So A is right here. So we answered the first question. We just have to write the equation. So we have your A, you have your C, and we have to find your B. So the B is going to be, let's go on the second slide, your B squared equals A squared minus C squared. So B squared equals um, 142 point, uh, 142 million. I'm just going to write this in scientific notation. It's easier because then I can use my law of exponents and work that out. Um, minus 13.5 uh, times 13.5 million squared. We simplify that out. You're going to get... Um, this equals 1.998. I hope you're using the calculator too in case I make a, a mistake. So this will be 10 to the 16th. And then you take the square root. It's not to the 16th. It's to the 12th. Sorry about that. So to the 12th. You take the square root and you're going to get um, B equals 
141.36 million. So now we can write the equation. So the equation is going to be x squared over your a, which is uh, 142 million. And then your b, which we just found, is 141.36. Times 10 to the 6 squared. And then we get, um, that's your answer, by, oh, it equals 1. And if you want to uh, simplify by let, letting our units for x and y, so basically what I want to do is let units for x and y be millions of miles. I can't spell, just 12. All right, so basically, if you do that, you'll get x squared over 20,164 plus y squared over 19,981.75 equals 1. So that's the problem. The next one we're going to do is the same thing. But um, it, it's going to involve Jupiter with just different numbers. Um, we have a total of four of these kind of problems. So if you do all four, I think it gets easier and easier. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.